Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon 2021. I have here the 2022 range from Knaus and I'm going to give you a walk around now the camper van range and I'm starting off with this model here with a pop-up roof and it's uh, on this uh, podium uh, meaning I presume that this is the the two stars of the show as far as they're concerned this is the box street and the other one is a box street XL because it's got this extra bit at the roof so uh, some of the features of it are um, it's got seats windows it's got an insect screen which I just hope every van has and it's got uh, um, the isolation insulation say um, uh, it shouldn't have cold bridges in it. Uh, furniture with soft clothes. Uh, and oh, clothes, not clothes. And uh, there's a look in the tent in the roof. And uh, coming down here inside, it's got a 90 litre fridge and uh, widthwise bed at the back. Now, uh, whilst I'm walking around, I need to point out, as always, with any vans, I'm doing this for entertainment purposes only. I do not get paid by the um, the companies that are concerned. And, well, actually, that's not true. That is not true. Because today, <laughs> this company, Knaus, is going to put on some food. They're putting on food. They're getting uh, for the journalists. Uh, who have turned up here. So when I say I'm not getting paid, that is a bit of a lie. So I need to point that one out. But as always, I need to point out you need to do your own, oops, research. Look at that, I fell down that step down there. And uh, there are companies I recommend and there's others I don't uh, recommend. And, uh, and some companies, they have things which tend to break very quickly and others don't. Now, for example, up here in this vehicle, it's great that it's a high, but look at all that wasted space at the top. Look at all that wasted space. You may think, early, but you can't reach up there unless you get your pet giraffe to get this stuff down for you. Yeah, that's true, but I mean, you might have a pet giraffe. Alternatively, you might could just stand on the bed and get it down. You cannot, one cannot waste space in a motorhome, still less in a camper van. Okay, right, so there's the, there's the bathroom. We used to put two plugs in there, although they are the old type uh, camper van type plug holes, or drain holes, better off getting a domestic one in mine. It does say, however, that there's insulation on the floor and uh, this is my favorite layout actually for a camper van so I, I like the bed up there i mean what i would i don't know how realistic it is but one without the bed at the back would actually suit me more uh, anyway so let's have a look at some of the vans of theirs there's the bs now the bs stands for box star it's not a reference as to canals quality so I'll stick the stick this around the corner and have a look at the. Uh, so it's got a head-up display, and you want some prices. Uh, I'm giving a price on this one, uh, which is uh, fifty-seven thousand. So it's a five hundred forty centimeter van. Doesn't look five hundred forty. Looks to me there's about six meters to be going on this. No, it is 540, sorry. Uh, right, street extra large. We'll have a look at this one here. It's got this extra bit stuck on the roof, which tells you there's gonna be a bed up there. So it's similar to the one we just saw, which is the star of the show. In fact, it's so similar, it looks the same to me. Right, well, we've got another one here with a rather high roof. Let's go and see this one. This is the um, 
lifetime extra large and it's got uh, it's got something how much does this cost 60,000 oh sorry 73,219 ah now uh, the lengthwise beds here so if you're extra large or extra long or extra tall then you might want to get something like this but each every single one's got a wasted space at the top What I suggest you do, rather than this one though, have a look at what Purse will do. And uh, amongst, amongst uh, other companies. And uh, now, for example, Westphalia doesn't do one like this exactly. There's one the Ford Transit Custom it does. Um, but certainly compare the Purcell, I think I, I personally would prefer. Right. Got aircon at the back this one. And oh I sort of show you this as well. They they've got the the, the uh I suppose it makes sense to have a shower in the middle when you haven't got much space otherwise. So the shower comes around like this, like this, to reveal the toilet at the back there. And uh, I suppose it goes all the way around. It does. So I'm now inside. Here's the shower head. I can now have a shower. I'd probably do with water coming out. And uh, yeah, but all this. Well, it's not too bad, I suppose. I was I'm standing on the duck board because I think you've got to take the duck board out. The advantage of a central shower is I know it looks a bit unwieldy and uh, looks a bit silly even, but uh, I think it's, I don't think it's such a bad idea to be quite honest. And people say, oh, what if you want it in the back, you want to come to the front, you know, this is a, a small van, you can't sort of expect it to be like a hundred square meter home, house. Uh, so look, the box road. Five hundred and forty centimeter van with the shower in the middle once more. Now these vehicles here are on the Fiat Ducato, but it also has them on other bases as well, which we shall go and have a look at. Now, what this is here, many companies did this last year, and uh, obviously uh, Canals is doing the same one. This is a bed that goes up and down, and if you need more space in your garage that's great you can put the thing with the bed up and if you don't then you can put the bed down depends what you want and it's when it's in a motorhome it's even easier so the, this new um uh, one done by chausson uh, challenger with the uh, it's a motorhome pretend to be a camper van the x1500 the x50 i think it is and and um that that would work very well in something like this because the problem with the the uh the camper van is that the the walls actually slope in and so you've always got a bit of a gap anyway now i mentioned the uh, canals paying me and what they've got on they've got this 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 dinner here at night so you've got this press conference on in the background and after the press conference they get everybody boozed up and what then happens is they go away and they write nice things about the company now um when i mention this happening i need to point it's not just cow everybody does it i mean it's not just canal so i can give you one example something happened to me when i had i owned a, a, a business 
um, magazine and uh, I think it was a bank or some financial institution or something and they had a an event on and we were offered Cuban cigars which this is about 20 years ago and uh, so that stood in my mind as something which was somewhat unusual right anyway I mentioned on other bases this is a MAN 3.18 tiny table but it's got my favorite layout but it's got the bed here at the back and uh, got quite a bit quite a large you can't see that you know, make sure I make it lighter a bit no, it doesn't matter. Anyway, it's got quite a lot of space down below. I think the MAN's a bit more difficult to actually build on than the Fiat Ducato. There's heating in the seating area. Oh, it's another step. Oh, it's twice I nearly fell down. Here, well, we'll finish off with this one here, also on the MAN from World Premier. This one, it's not just not just the Dusseldorf. This is a World Premier, right? So you saw it on this website first. I don't know how much this is going to cost. All right, so it's got uh, insulation on the what do you call this? The Fussboard, was that in English? Yeah, man, I'm just forgetting things. Not the ceiling, it's opposite the ceiling. On the floor, that's it. Got a and 2.8 kilogram gas, which is only used for the cooking, which tells you that it must be diesel heating. Bed here is pretty low, but the bed will go up and down. So it, this world premiere, well, we've seen one van that already does this. Maybe it's the first one that's been done on a MAN basis. Right, so there you go. There's a quick look around the Knaus camper van. I didn't show you them all, I just showed you one or two, which I thought might be of interest. And uh, so let's sort of close this with, with this box drive XL on the MAN basis and so thanks so much for watching I hope you found that of interest but I actually don't recommend the company but uh, if you insist then you might want to get a second opinion other than mine thanks very much for watching